Hello everyone, welcome back to part 2 of my platformer tutorial. Today, we will add wall jumping and a cool clone effect. Let's get right into it. Okay, so go ahead and go over to in your levels where you have a wall and run up to it. See how you kind of just hit it? And in most games, you can like jump up on that, right? So let's go ahead and add that. It's actually quite easy to add. Okay, so where you're going to want to go to add this is right here. So if I go ahead and take this out to edit it. So right here, where we, ch if touching platforms, this is for our wall detection, what we'll want to do is just add an if else underneath that. If up, keep press because you normally want to press up to be able to jump. If else, another one. And then a greater than. If x velocity is greater than zero. And if that condition is true, you're going to want to set x velocity to negative eight, which means we're going to go left off of the wall. Duplicate that and put it in the else, set x velocity to positive 8, which means we're going to go right off of the wall. And next, underneath all of that, it's not in the next else though, you're going to want to set jump to 0 so that we can bounce off of the wall and jump. So, at the very bottom, in the final else condition, go and duplicate one of the x velocity blocks and set x velocity to 0, because that means that we are not have up key pressed. And then you can go ahead and put this back where it went, and that is right here underneath this. Okie doke, now if we test it, it should work. There we have it. There's wall jumping. And there's one more thing I want to show you how to do. So, the final thing I want to show you is this cool trail effect that the player can have. And it's going to be right under... Right under the change x by round x velocity. Add a create clone of myself. And that is just going to make the clone every time that the player moves. Well, really every frame. And now, when I start as a clone, going to want to now go to your costumes, duplicate this costume, call it clone, and then delete everything except for the background. So it's just like that. Then in the code, you're going to want to switch to that costume, and then repeat 10 times. change size by negative 10 and change ghost effect by 10. And then underneath all of that you're going to want to go ahead and delete that clone. And now if we test it, it should hopefully have a really cool looking trail. So if we move now, look at that, doesn't that look awesome? A lot of modern platformers use this technique, and you can even modify the settings to make it look as good as you want. Thank you guys for watching, in this video we added some effects and wall jumping. In the next episode, we'll add some more cool stuff. Please like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you next time.